Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I did these Bambi nails. I'll be using Mia Secrets Cover Rose Acrylic Powder, as well as my Model 1's number 8 Kalinsky brush. And I'm just going to start by laying the acrylic on all the nails in a really thin layer. Also, please don't forget to subscribe if you like nail videos, if you like nail content, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And you can also check me out on Instagram and TikTok at kaylas.nailartistry. I'll link those down below if you're interested. And now I'm just finishing laying the acrylic. I'm doing a thin layer because when we go in with our gel polish later, it'll definitely bulk up the nail. So I'm trying to keep these as thin as I can. Now on to filing and shaping. I mostly use a hand file for this. Once we're all filed and shaped, I'll be applying a base coat to help smooth out the nail and just prep the surface for our nail art. I'm starting with painting the background a greenish color, and I'm first doing a layer of green and then we'll go in with some variations in a bit. And now with some different tones of green, uh, without much rhyme or reason, I'm just sort of blending them together, adding in spots of dark green, spots of light green, and some yellow tones. With some light green now, I'm kind of going in a back and forth motion to create some lighter streaks. This part doesn't have to be perfect, uh, the messier the better, it's just the background. And now onto the character paintings. I'm using this photo here for our reference picture. I'm starting by getting down the basic shape in white, starting with Flower the Skunk. I'm using white initially so that our colors will show up better later, otherwise they may have a harder time showing up against the green background. Now onto Bambi, same thing here, just getting down the general shape. I believe this is my first time doing a scene going across all of the nails, so I was excited to try this and just see how they turn out. Once we have the shape down, now I'm going in with the colors, looking at the reference photo, I'm layering on some brown on the face and body. Now going in with some light brown and carving out some details adding the space for the eye and the mouth. Also the underbelly and the leg, and these do take a few layers to build up. Now with a deeper brown, I'm doing the top of the head and the back. And with this pinkish color, I'm adding in where I want the ear to go and sort of going back and forth with our colors to work out the details a bit more. Now with some white and a dotting tool, I'm painting the eye. Adding in some brown on the eye and the lid and cleaning it up with some white and adding in a little highlight. And now with black, I'm going in with more precise detailing and just outlining everything. It's okay if this part isn't all perfect or if your lines are too thick, I just go back in with our other colors and help clean it up. I like to cure as I go, so I'm just constantly adjusting and I don't try too hard to make it perfect on the first attempt. Also, I get asked a lot what I use for my nail art, so for anyone who's wondering, I use Beetle's Gel Polish and I also use Beetle's Nail Art Brushes as well. 
They're very affordable. You can get them on Amazon and I'll link them down below if you're interested. And I'm just going to finish up doing the outlining, working out the details, going back and forth with our colors until I'm happy. Now on to flower the skunk. I sort of started with using a gray color to get down the proportions at first, but it kind of didn't matter. Once I loosely had an idea of where I wanted things, I went ahead with some black and filled it all in, leaving a spot for the eye. Also adding some black to the body. Going in with some white now to build up the opacity and clean up our lines a bit. Back to the eye area with a dotting tool I'm placing where I want the eye to go and now some black and a white highlight. Now I'm carefully outlining the eye and the body. Adding in some more white by the tail, and I think we're done with that character now. I'm adding a base coat to smooth everything out. And we're ready to add our flowers. First with white, as usual. I'm filling the area first so that the colors will show up better. I'm just using a dotting tool to get the general shape down and fill in the area. Now with some yellow paint, I'm starting to create the flowers, still using the dotting tool, just getting down a basic idea of where I want things to go. Now with a pinkish tone, I'm doing the same thing, adding in some pink flowers. With a deeper color, I'm dotting in the center of each flower. And now I'm painting in some leaves. Now here's where I started outlining with black to get more detailing in. It was a bit hard to film so I did a lot of this off camera. So here's everything outlined and I basically just went over everything with those same colors to slim down the dark outlining we did. And I'm sorry I did most of it off camera, it was just really really hard to film this part. So now with a deeper green tone, I'm adding in some more streaks to the background. And now with white, I'm going to be painting the Bambi lettering in the font scene in the movie. This nail was surprisingly really easy. I just followed the same method of not being overly precise and then just clean it up later. So with white, I'm just painting the lettering the best I can and then I go in with green later to clean up those lines. Now that the nails are all done, finally, uh, we're going to add some top coat now.
And here's the final reveal. I really loved how they came out. I think this Bambi scene is so cute and I really enjoyed doing a scene type of painting. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.